OK, so what is Juneteenth? It's a question many people have been asking. Today we break down what the holiday means. Open a U.S. history book and chances are its author will quickly point out January 1st, 1863. The date President Abraham Lincoln with one proclamation orders and declares that all persons held as slaves shall be free. What that same history book might fail to mention is what happened to these birds once they arrived on the shores of Galveston, Texas, more than two years after Lincoln wrote them. In the 1860s, word didn't travel like it did now. And in 1865, months after General Robert E. Lee's surrender, word of the end of the Civil War had yet to hit the southern state and its quarter of a million slaves. And then came General Gordon Granger's arrival in Galveston, June 19, 1865. And General Order Number 3, all slaves are free. Juneteenth was born. While Juneteenth celebrations continued to varying degrees in the U.S. for decades, it would take until 1980 for Texas to become the first state to declare it a holiday. Today, 47 states recognize it and the District of Columbia, a chapter of our history for far too long left out of the books designed to document it, but no longer. Juneteenth, or as the National Museum of African American History and Culture now calls it, our country's second Independence Day.